and welcome back to some more Sunless Sea. Let's try the gate. The only way past the walls is, is the is an unimposing but sturdy looking gate, made of triple barred silvery metal. A sign beside it reads Deliveries. No way in. This metal is steel hard and icy cold to the touch. Attempts with chisels and crowbars fail. Perhaps if you could bring the ship's guns to bear. But no. If you return with a certain delivery, the gate will be open. You'll know if you find it. Well, we need to find Soothe and Copper long boxes, apparently. Uh. 60% chance of success. Let's uh, search for signs of other visitors. Nope. We failed. We walk the quay, is looking for any sign that might show what short of ships and dock here, and what they deliver find nothing conclusive. Not even so much as a smear of pitch or a damp footprint. Any ship but yours has been tied up here in recent days. It has left no evidence. How about secrets? Have I got any secrets? Torpedo components. Let's go ahead and talk with the ch chief engineer. Okay, she secrets are that simple. I should know that. Should remember that. That your veils is twenty points higher than your hearts. Okay. Sure, let's improve our veils by one. That takes a while. Serious when she gets talking. There's hard edges under the bluff and banter. Okay. And I can increase pages. No, let's just leave. Launch. Launch a Z bat first. islands within the Z-Bats range. Right, and I meant to look up in the guy... Ah, I meant to look up that other video where that guy said where that lady was that he wanted. Ah. Uh, from the Mangrove College. He said in what direction it was. I don't remember, though. I don't. What is this place? Oh, that's the, uh, the Abbey Isles. Okay. Or the Shepherd Isles. This is the Abbey. I guess I could stop in these places, see if I can get more, uh, like, knowledge from them, even though it's only been a couple of days. can get a uh, navigator. Sigil-ridden navigator. As a first officer who increases mirrors and veils. I... Let me guide your ship. I know all the sea. How it was, how it will be. Please, the headaches only stop when I'm Thank you. The nonsense here was a distraction for a while, but only the Z can help me now. Ah, oh my god, the air, the air. It's clearer already. Let me chart a course for you. Ah, oh, my head, my head. Oh yeah, that's actually a pretty decent increase. Has that tattoo grown since you last looked? Uh, yeah, sure, let's invite him to die. Seconds, then thirds. Disappear in small, hasty morsels. He is nervous, 
and not a gifted conversationalist. You do your best to plug the silence. When you ask about his past, he winces. I can't say, Captain. This... He taps the livid sim sigil on his temple, which twitches like a scorpion sting. It has burned away my memories. I recall I have a brother, but not his name or where he is. I remember the names of the ships I have served on, the implicit, the Bonnie Swan, but not their crew. How did he come by the sigil? He clutches his head. I don't know. I don't know. Thinking about it is like fire in my skull. He grits his teeth. Someone must have heard, hated me very much to curse me with it, but I can't even remember my enemy. Okay. Supplies are pretty damn expensive. So we have plenty of fuel. And launch, I always forget I have to launch to be able to do stuff. I like how they're looking at each other in the portraits, like he's looking at her, she's looking at him, and he's looking at her. That's just... They're just... That's what they do every, like... Every night in the officer's, like... Like, quarters, or the officer's canteen, or whatever you'd want to call it. They just stare at each other. That's all they do as they eat. Let's compile a port report. Yep, we've seen that. Oh, knock on the iron-studded gate with news. Perhaps they'll find it valuable. Foss Tutair, the muscular prioress, the abbess's lieutenant, comes to the door to listen. She nods and makes notes. She pays particular attention to the news of fresh marsh, marsh beast predations and the traffic of the roof rooftops. In return, she offers a rather perfunctory blessing, but the blessing reassures your crew. Okay. Let's launch a Z bat. No islands within range. I kind of want to head back to, like, these two ports. Turn in, uh, information. Well, to go into those two ports and then gather reports, and then go turn it in at the Admiralty. So what's that bar in Hunger? I guess that's the point where you uh, feed the crew once it gets to 50. Yeah. Oh, can I move that? No. Maybe it's somewhere in, like... Full power to the engines. They sank or submerged or something. Not really sure what happened there. Is that a ship or a light lighthouse? Oh, I can dock there. Oh, I see. I didn't notice that before. Why did our terror go up to nine? It wasn't that high before. Lightship. Its clear, bright beams warm the way. Ah, uh, we don't have any recent news. Purchase fuel, but it's twice the price. No thank you. No shops available and no shipyards available. No ships available. Oh yeah, I always forget I have to hit launch. I can't just go immediately. Let's head up to uh, Hunter's Keep, maybe dine with the sisters, and then back to London, and then I think maybe head south. I imagine full power to the engines either damages the engines or uses up a shit ton more fuel, but I don't know.
Ah, uh, we just ate, and we were going to, like, eat here. But we just ate. Cut it. Eight here. God damn it. Let's reconnoiter the island. Let's speak with the middle sister. We haven't spoke with her yet. We've gained one supply. Oh, we've lost Altair. That's nice. A daft tale. Lucy leans over and whispers to you confidentially. A complex story about a butler, a pig, and an inheritance. We'll follow all of the details of the plot... But somehow the pig ends up in an attic and the butler in a vicar's bed. Candles flicker, flicker, dishes enter and leave, and the wind butts gently at the window panes. By the time the pl plum pudding arrives, you're as cheerful as you've been in months. Lost all terror. We have a memory of a distant shore, and we gained one supply. Woo! No shops, no ships. Battle, why did battle flash there? There's a lot of mirrors. I guess that's probably a pretty good thing, being able to fire accurately. What the hell is that? Looks like a massive, like, hole in the ground or something. Like, drills or something. I do like the music in this game, although there are long, long, long periods of time when there's no music. At all. Stuck. study, you can create items such as an ironclad will, which I imagine means you can pass more stuff onto your air. Whispering trophy or the song of the sea. Sea. Not sea. Let's read the papers. News from home. The Echo Bazaar, that enigmatic marketplace. Okay, we've uh, seen that one. Perhaps not. London. How many Echoes? That's actually really cheap, yeah. Yeah, let's talk to him about that. And we've seen that. Ten echoes, and we're, we now have two favors here. Go to this guy. It's information. Oh, yeah, we've seen that. Submit port reports of Hunter's Keep. Got one fuel, five echoes, Vanderbite, one fuel, a favor, ten echoes, station three. Excuse me, let me call in a, a call again. Omitted. This is my colleague, Dr. Villeen, of the Ministry of Public Decency. Mr. Villeen, this good captain's report is here, if you would care to. Yes, the fire is already lit. <laughs> Let us... Mm, there we go. Now only ash has remained, and it might have caused a lot of trouble. Thank you, Captain. We appreciate your discretion. Here is your payment. You need not trouble yourself further in this affair. A hundred echoes. Damn. That's a lot. Twenty echoes and some fuel. So that basically paid for the food it took to get there. Okay. Seems like everything. 300 echoes. Gives us one mirror. The 
pneumatic rat delivery device? What? I think that's the same weapon we have, right? Yeah, that's the same gun we have. Torpedoes are small, but lethal. Torpedo nets. That's 50% more damage. A flensing cannon. That, that sounds kind of unpleasant. So what's the difference between all of these? Deck weapon, deck weapon. That's a torpedo. 12, 12, 1, 4. 12, 22, 2. So why is this the same price as that if this is better? Permits flensing attacks. I have no idea what that is. A solace fruit. Smaller quantities, delightful and refreshing. And larger quantities, one of the nicest ways to die. Parabolinin. Serpentine. I guess you can't buy that anywhere. Secure compartment. Okay, so there's nothing really to buy here. That's the uh, engine that we have. It's got less hull, less capacity. Way lighter, though. Okay, let's just head out. I could probably sell that. That is worth 50 echoes. I guess it's just flashing to let me know I could go into battle mode. Let's head to the south. We haven't been down there. giant mushrooms there. Or at least I presume they're giant mushrooms. What is that? Run away! Oh, that, 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 that means I can't aim at it. Haha! -ha. We go. We didn't even get hit that time. Fantastic. Let's just the butcher it. Pale and salty meat. The crew will feast. Glowing fre fresh is unstable. Uh, I guess flesh. It crisps and withers as the glow fades. So eat it while it's fresh. Fortunately, we kind of just ate before that. Oh yeah, probably sound the all clear. Oh, I don't think we've been to that place yet. There's also another, uh, one of those crab things. And a ship, which I hope is friendly. And it vanished. I don't know why. Maybe that thing can submerge. What is this place? Mutton Island, to fire on the hillsides. Once this simple fishing village was part of the London suburbs, before London fell and the waters rushed in. That reduces terror. Don't really care about that. A lonely hill rises behind town. Let's explore the shore. 
glittering eye, the glittering eye, you turn, and there's a long, lank, brown man at your shoulder. Soldier. Soldier. Sold, Listen, he says, I have a story for you. I... Something about the Greybeard compels your attention. Oh, I've lost two echoes. The story has a wedding full of murders and a leafless forest. The vast serpent which eats souls. The tale winds on and on, like the serpent, until you are lasting the dizzying toils of its sinister ships and glamorous corpses. You, you nod awake. He's gone. But not, it seems, before searching your pockets for small change. Okay. Spend one echo to chat with the fisherman. Okay. Another day. Time the heal. Cited an auroral, auroral, I guess would be how that would be pronounced. Auroral Meklops, which is that creature. Southwest. This is not west, this is east, but I don't want to crash into that. Little ships throng the waters here, the crew grows wist wistful. They swap so old stories of sunlit sea draw near the Kumanian Kuh Canal, the way to the surface. Okay. Where is the entrance here? Albertine Gates. Laughter from the phone deck. Oh god, no, let's just run. Full power, be beware, your engines will occasionally explode. Here the dark waters run down from the surface from a brighter sea. The canal ascends through box and gates and shadow turns to the light of the surface. The sun is dangerous to meet dwellers like your crew, but the surface has its temptations. Listen for surface gossip. We now have one vision of the surface. In Vanderbite, they're always eager for news of the surface, okay? This would be a prime spot for a pub or wine shop but the interests of the Echo Bazaar and the laws of London prevent it. They don't like competition. Still, there are temporary half-legal hostelries in long moored ships. Here you trade stories with suntanned surface sailors, stories of Paris and Batavia, the lost fires and the final isles. Batavia? That's like the Netherlands, or at least the Batavian Republic was what the puppet kingdom the Dutch puppet kingdom under Napoleon was called. Or, well, it was a republic, it wasn't a kingdom, but you get the point. Let's uh, gather information for a port report. Business as usual. The gates open and shut, the locks remain free from sabotage. If anywhere besides London is safe and all the undersea, it is here. The surface nations have an interest in keeping the way open. The Admiralty has a very modest interest, well, yeah. Shops. Yeah, fuel seems to, like resources seem to be the same price everywhere. Oh good, it's no longer after us. Turn off lights. I, I don't want to mess with that thing has as much health as our maximum health capacity. The Giannotti Harbor.
yeah, we, we kind of, we've been there. Although I guess we haven't technically been there if it's telling me where it is. Another Z-Bat. Coil of rope has stung a stoker and his fellows beat it to death. We're under the hand of the Iron Republic. Time slips sideways? What the fuck? I don't like the look of that world little thing there. The Iron Republic. fed the crew, we're down to four days' worth of rations, or something like that. It seems like we only feed them once a day, maybe a bit less. There's a galley there. I don't know if that's hostile or not. Let's turn the lights off. I'm glad we took the, uh, the supplies from that shady guy, though. Iron Republic, Hell's Clients, to be wary. Their laws are not the laws of man or nature. Factory engines roar like false lines. Blood thunders in the dock pipes. Crimson lightning skitters across the deck, leaps to the rail, and curls there like a cat. The city is reflected in glassy, calm harbor water. Its citizens there have the heads of dogs and serpents. Hell has brought freedom to the Iron Republic. Freedom from all laws, even those of nature. Don't have a gunnery officer. Probably this will increase your terror. Perhaps something else horrible will happen. 50 echoes, too. Holy crap. Market of Hungers, the Parliament of Flies. Okay, let's go there. We gained one terror, and the Cal Calvary Doctrine is open for business. Oh, damn, that fuel is cheap. Let's buy fuel. London's currency is the Echo. To earn money, explore the map, and bring back port reports and treasures. You can trade, too, but exploration and stories are much more profitable. Cheap fuel, I want it. Let's go up to 20. It is super cheap fuel. To buy it, we need a colossal fluke core. That's actually, I think, a good thing to buy. 20 echoes to hire this guy. We don't have a gunnery officer, do we? We do not. Captain, are you looking for a gunner? I'm looking for a ship. Here are my references. Here are more references. Here's my design for a whistling shell. Here's my colleague. He'll stay on shore. Here's my hand. Will you take it? Welcome aboard. Oh, this is interesting. Room for improvement. There's always room for improvement. Wait, let me make notes. Paper. Yeah. Cheery enthusiasm is a welcome but unnerving trait in a gun. Fund a tittering artificer's project. Nearly ready. Yes, 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 nearly ready. I need more. You have the prototype when it's done. Take it, kill with it. I want to see what damage you can do. Don't have devil bone dice or Stygian ivory. It won't be entirely straightforward, the streets won't lie straight, and the ink freezes whenever you look away from the ink well. Okay, let's write a report. I've lost a heart. The sensations of the Republic are overwhelming. This is a de desire for years. That is a hatred for fountains. Here is an emotion that can be only expressed mathematically. You're, now you are washed with nostalgia for the hatching of the egg. Write it down. Write it all down. Perhaps you'll be rid of it.
Wow, we're low on food. But, uh, yeah, let, that's enough for this video. Next time, I think we'll head up to London. Maybe I'll buy the uh, Parabolinin. It seems cheap here. It was like 120 Echoes in London, but I don't remember the uh, the sell price there. I need to I need to look up where that guy said to go. The uh, tomb colonist. I need to look up where he said to go. In that other video. Okay, but that's... Yeah, we'll probably head back to London next time.